Hello viewers, this is Hey Rotlenio. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Nintendo DS. After our visit to Helmanoptra, it's now time to continue with the story. Our goal is to get to Gotha, which is far to the east of Helmanoptra. So, let's sail south from Heavens Above Abbey. And we'll land off the west coast of the southeastern continent. After we deal with these enemies. Bye bye, enemies. And Sloth the Powie Yowie has reached level 20. And he learns tongue lashing. Welcome to level 20, Sloth. So, let's land here. And what's that house? We'll find out after we take out these lazy eyes. Bye bye. Here we have Not Welcome Inn. Wow, what a wonderful inn this is, built around such a lovely big tree. Hey man. Peace, and welcome to the Not Welcome Inn. We've got some kind of offer type thing going on right now. It's a bit of an odd place. I don't think I've been to an inn where a bunny girl greets you before. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Here is a well to check out. Ah, oh, hello, Slime. Granny Knot's son was going crazy with the old needle and thread until just recently. All you could hear from him was ouch and arg. He was really noisy. Sounds like Granny Knot's son is a bit of a clumsy one. I wonder what made him think sewing would be a good idea. Yes, that does sound a bit odd. Got some barrels back here, and this one contains a TNT ticket. Good old treasures and trapdoors. Let's go inside. Peace. If you head on over north from here, I guess you'll come to Gotha eventually. Aha! You have to climb over some pretty high mountains on the way, though. Tough work, huh? If you're thinking of doing it, you should try to take a rest here first. Just chill, man. Yep, it's a long road to Gotha. Granny Knot is asleep. We're having some kind of offer thing right now to encourage more folk to chill out and stay over. People who stay in groups of four get a special gift or something hip like that. 
So, if you're here as a group of four, let me know, huh? Friendship rules. Well, we have four in our party. What's over here in the church? I'm a traveling nun. May I ask if you're planning on traveling to Gotha from here? Yes, we are. I was there not long ago, and I must say there was a rather sinister feeling in the air. Do be careful if you're heading that way. Sinister feeling, huh? A sinister feeling? I don't much like the sound of that. Me neither, Bianca. So, let us stay over. Let's see what kind of gift we get. Thank you, sir. It's a nice touch, having the branch coming up from the floor like that. Dad would love to see this place. You say the same stuff. Sounds like we have to cross a mountain pass to get to Gotha, but we'll be fine as long as we have a good rest first. We have had a rest. We're having some kind of offer thing right now, yep. We've stayed as a group of four, so... What do we get, huh? Huh? You already stayed here as a group of four? That's right. That's chillin', man. Then I guess I'd better give you my very own handmade forget-me-not flag. So we get another knick-knack, a forget-me-not flag. Easy, man. See you next time. So, this is the amazing special gift? Apparently. A pennant for tenants of the Not Welcome Inn. Thank you, Ms. Bunny Girl. Yo, man. I'm Granny Knot, and I suppose you could say I own this place here. You know, people live among nature, and then they return to the ground. Every one of us only gets one chance at life, so you may as well make sure it's a gas. Have a cool journey now. Well, thank you, Granny Knot. I'm really enjoying this journey of ours, Madison. It's great fun traveling about with you. Well, that's good to hear, Bianca. Yep, we're heading to Gotha. Anything else around the outside? Nope, I guess not. All right. We might as well take this thing over to the Nicknackatory. The forget-me-not flag. And of course we'll have to make it night time.
and I think we'll display it right here. Here you go for that forget-me-not flag. Not welcome men's attempt to educate travelers about the K in the name. Quite big and bulky. So, back to the inn. Might as well rest to recover some MP. And we'll save here at the church before we set out. Alrighty. Time to get going. It's a long road to Gotha. We've got a pool of poison here, so we'll use Bianca's safe passage. And this is the entrance to the Mountain Pass. We're now in Mount Batten Pass, so we've got to get over this mountain. Looks like it'll be hard work, but I'm sure we'll manage. If you cross these mountains, you'll reach the Kingdom of Gotha. But the path there is treacherous, if you're just doing it for the fun of it, I'd suggest you turn back. Look, Madison, I can see your homeland. I don't care if the path's treacherous. We're so close now, we couldn't possibly turn back. Do you think I'm jumping the gun a bit, saying Gotha must be your homeland? No, I don't think so. So you have the same feeling too, then. I'm so sure Gotha must be where you were born. Some orcs appear. Bye-bye, Orcses. And... Cure to Secure Slime reaches level 6. Congrats, Curtis. So, let's continue. Check down here. Nope. Nothing down there. A quack up and a wizened wizard. So long, enemies. Be careful with those quack ups, though. Let's cross this bridge. We'll go down and cross this one. And meet some wizened wizards. Let's try to stun them with Warcry. Good. 
Goodbye, wizened wizards. And one of them has dropped some magic water. To the north here, there's a treasure chest with 550 gold coins. Now let's head to the west. A Lindworm and a Wizened Wizard. Farewell, enemies. Anyway, continuing to the west. Then we'll climb up here. And there's a stairway. Ah, some quack-ups. Making the first strike, it seems. Let's try to stun them, Bomb Run. Ah, good job. Nice critical. Only one remains. And it is gone. And Gutrude reaches level 25. And finally, she learns Safe Passage. That would have been useful for Mount Magmageddon, Gutrude. It would be nice if she learned it a bit earlier. Anyway, down here, we'll find some sort of dwelling. And that pot gives us a mini-metal. That other pot is an unexpected. We now have 24 metals. I'll make a quick save before breaking this pot, to make sure that the unexpected will give me a mini-metal. Now we'll reset. And we'll continue. Oh no, the pod is actually an unexpected. Goodbye, unexpected. Oh, no mini metal. Time to reset. And we'll continue our suspended adventure again. Let's see if this unexpected will give us a mini medal this time. Bye bye, unexpected. Ah, uh, it has dropped something. There's our mini medal. And we have 25 mini medals now. Now let's head downstairs again. Actually, this place has given me the willies. How do you suppose that skeleton ended up over there? Skeleton? Oh, these skeletons. Hmm. Anyway, Madison's strength is currently at 92. Now let's talk to this lady. <laughs> what have we here? Lost your way, have you? I guess so. I guess not. No? I see. Well, safe travels then. <laughs> hmm. I don't much like the sound of that old woman's laugh. She sounds like a witch or th something. Let's say yes. Dear oh dear. 
Perhaps you'd like to stay here the night, then. Oh, sure, why not? You just have a good rest. I'll be upstairs if you need me. <laughs> a little creepy. Hey, Madison, do you hear that noise? It sounds just like a knife being sharpened. Uh-oh. I think it's coming from upstairs. Can you go and have a look? Let's give it a try. Be careful, eh? Oh, no! Madison can't seem to move. Oh, dear. What have you done to us, you witch? Ooh, awake, are you? I cast a spell on you so you'd sleep like the dead, but it looks like it wasn't quite strong enough. Hehehe, <laughs> have a look at this. I've been sharpening your weapon for you. Madison's strength increases by five. It's still the middle of the night, though. You should go back and get some rest. All right. Thank you. Sleep well, did you? It's morning already. Have a safe onward journey. Hehe. <laughs> Madison's strength is now at 97. She wasn't a bad old stick after all. I feel bad for doubting her now. <laughs> I know I laugh a bit strangely. I can't help it. Try not to let it bother you. <laughs> That strange laugh is enough to give anyone a fright. In the next episode, we'll continue crossing Mount Batten. This is Heyerotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.